Hello YouTube friends and subscribers. Uh, what we're trying to do today with this Volkswagen Golf Mark 7 uh, 2 litre TDI is see where we have a vacuum leak uh, which is showing up as a fault on the um, OBD11 scanning tool. So we're going to go for a homemade version of a smoke test, see if we can uh, see where this leak is. Right, we're inside the um, Mark 7 Golf, the GTD version, two litres, and um, what's happening is the vehicle is driving nicely and very lively until you really lean on it in uh, too high a gear and then it goes straight into limp mode. Now the fault codes we're getting here using the OBD11, uh, a mass or volume airflow sensor, um, you don't want that one, or the air intake system leak. Now what we're going to do is see if we can get a homemade uh, smoke test kit rigged up and see if we can discover where this air intake intake air system leak is right this is uh, going to be a homemade smoke test to see if we can uh, discover where the um, vacuum leak is in this uh, 2 litre TDI Volkswagen engine I think it's uh, going to be down in here somewhere so homemade vacuum leak test smoke test right now what we're planning to do is create our own smoke uh, with some smoldering cardboard and pump it into the um, vacuum system The man from the magazine said I was on my way But somewhere I lost connections I ran out of songs to play Well, I don't think that's supposed to be happening So it would seem to, that there's either a gasket in there or just the collar has split, broken during the impact of this vehicle crashing. I'll have a look and see if we can get this part number. Removing the intercooler pipe, some T30s here, which you have to get to from underneath, at least one of them you do and then just a normal uh, jubilee clip thing at the back there. Here's the intercooler pipe off and uh, I think it's fair to say that crack is the reason we were getting smoke out of this uh, pipe. Now this vehicle was involved in an accident and the uh, rad pack and the rest of it was uh, battered in a bit and obviously the intercooler pipe has taken a bit of a whack as well so um, probably if you were really really wanted to be cheap about it you could um, glue that up with solvent glue but I'm going to check out the price of a brand new part well we've taken the intercooler off and uh, once we get the new part that will be fitted and hopefully our homemade smoke test will have solved the um, the vacuum issue with this vehicle. 
Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found that moderately interesting how to do a homemade DIY smoke test if you've got a vacuum issue with your engine. This uh, orange gizmo here retails for about uh, 10 pounds or tw maybe 12 dollars or something, 10 euros, uh, available from the big sheds here in the UK. And uh, well, I think uh, very good value for money. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, <laughs> that'd be good. You'll be able to see what else we come up with uh, in the DIY department around the car and around the house.